In this problem, we're looking at a simple interest problem. And we're told that Leon had $50,000 to invest and hopes to earn 6.2% interest per year. He will put some of the money into a stock fund that earns 7% per year and the rest into a savings account that earns 2% per year. How much money should he put into each fund in order to get a total of 6.2% 6 interest per year? So we're looking at, let's fill out the total column, or the total row first. I went ahead and made this uh, little table. Principal times rate times time equals interest. I equals PRT. <coughs> uh, we, we know that he has a total of $50,000 to invest. He wants the rate to be 6.2%, which is 0 0.062. The time, we're not given a, a, an actual time. We're just given that it's 1. Or we'll assume that it's 1 because uh, he wants to earn 6.2% interest per year. So it's per 1 year. So this is going to be, the, the interest total is going to be 50,000 times the 6.2% interest, which is $3,100. So let's let S equal the principal amount for stocks. We're given that the rate is 7% per year, so 0 0.07. So the interest is going to be 0 0.07 times S. Savings, since it's going into a bank, or, or a savings account is typically a bank, and we've already used S, we'll use B for our principal amount put into the savings account. We're given the interest rate is 2%. So our interest is going to be 0 0.02 times B. I'm going to make sure this is clear that this is an S. So now, what's our system of equations? We know that the amount in stocks plus the amount in savings is going to equal $50,000 total. So we know S plus B equals 50,000. And we know the interest rate for st the stocks times the amount in stocks plus the interest rate for the savings account times the amount that we put into the savings account or that Leon puts into the savings account. We know that total is going to be uh, $3,100 for the interest per year. So zero point zero seven s plus zero point zero two b equals three thousand one hundred and there's our system of equations so we could solve for one variable and substitute uh, for the other we could use uh, elimination it's totally up to you which method that you use I'm going to go ahead and since we have coefficients of 1, let's just eliminate B in our second equation by multiplying our first equation by negative 0 0.02. So when we distribute on the left hand side we get negative 0 0.02s. plus, or I'm going to go ahead and use minus, because it's going to be plus a negative, so minus 0.02b equals, and 50,000 times negative 0.02 is negative 1,000. 
We still have our second equation, 0.07s plus 0.02b equals 3,100. And now we can just add the two equations in order to get rid of our b terms. So negative 0.02s plus 0.07s is 0.05s. Our b terms cancel. Zero, negative 0 0.02 plus 0.02b is 0. And then negative 1,000 plus 3,100 is 2,100. And if we divide both sides by 0 0.05, we get that S equals $42,000. So our next step, as always, is substitute for what we solved for. So substitute S equals 42,000 and then we'll solve for B. So S plus B equals 50,000. 42,000 plus B equals 50,000. And subtracting 42,000 from both sides, we get B equals 8,000. Now we're going to use our second equation to, to double check that we solved for the correct B, I as long as we solved for the correct amount going into the savings, or going into the, the stocks. So 0.07S, which in this case is... Well, I'll go ahead and write out the equation. 0.07s plus 0.02b equals 3,100. So 0 0.07 times 42,000 plus 0.02b equals 3,100. Now, 42,000 times 0 0.07 is 2,940 plus 0 0.02b equals 3,100. Subtract 2,940 from both sides. And we get 0 0.02b equals 160. Divide both sides by 0 0.02. And we get b equals, again, $8,000. So, so far, before we check, Leon... ...should put... eight thousand dollars in the savings account and forty two thousand dollars in stocks now we'll check real quick to make sure that we didn't make any mistakes so S plus B equals 50,000. So we want to know, does 42,000 plus 8,000 equal 50,000? And it does indeed 50,000 equals 50,000. So it checks in our first equation. In our second equation, 0.07s plus 0.02b 
equals 3,100, the amount of interest. So we want to know, does 0.07s, which in this case we solve for s as 42,000, plus 0 0.02 times the amount we put in the savings account, which is 8,000, does that equal 3,100? So 42,000 times 7% is 2,940. Plus 8,000 times 2% is 160. Does that equal 3,100? If we add the two terms on the left, we do get 3,100. I said the right amount, but then I wrote down 3,000 for some reason. 3,100, and if we add 2,940 plus 160, we do get 3,100. So it's verified in our second equation as well. So Leon should put $8,000 in the savings account and $42,000 in stocks.